Uh, it feels good. Um, you know, going to last year, we had big expectations, and a lot of people were not expecting us to do as well as we thought we would do. So, uh, proving ourselves, but then getting the rankings is puts a target on your back. So, I understand there's a target and there's a level of expectation that you have to play at. So, we're looking forward to that. Um, looking forward to protecting that and moving higher in the ranks as the season goes on. But just taking it a week at a time, a practice at a time to get better and better every day. Uh, I think it's a great feeling because, like, in the past, like, there's no rankings and, like, no wins. So, like, it's pretty exciting for upcoming season for us to be, like, ranked. I feel like we still have room to improve and we're, we're really aiming for that number one spot. That's, that's our goal. I think that's awesome. The highest rankings ever been in school history. This is great. Uh, so we got to just prove why we were preseason 20 or whatever it is, uh, and we keep working until hopefully we get number one at the end of the season. Ooh, I'm an Instagram type of guy. You know, Instagram added a new uh, the story, so it might as well be Snapchat, and then you know you still got the Instagram features. And I like Instagram. I'm an Instagram. I don't know, I use all of them. Probably say Twitter. I think Twitter, because I got like, the most funny stuff on there. I'm just looking at funny stuff, so Twitter. Instagram, by far. I like seeing everyone's pictures and everything. I like Snapchat, because I use my girl Snapchat all the time. We don't use the text, so it's just Snapchat. I like Snapchat. I usually go to a quiet room, uh, call my mom, talk to her every game, and then I usually come out on the field and sit under one of the goalposts and pray, and then spend some time to myself before getting with the team and really uh, getting the guys going and getting prepared. No, nah, not really. Show up, show out. In order to listen to music, hard rock, just keep to myself, get, get locked in, go over the plays in my head and see how it goes from there. Uh, I listen to a lot of R&B, which is crazy. Uh, Got to mix it up, a little R&B, a lot of uh, little rap, and probably just be chill. Probably just hang out, not not be too tense, not be uh, too be focused, but not too tense. Uh, Pre-game rituals. I like pee like three or four times. Always, I don't know why. Uh, I have a playlist to listen to, uh, and always some motivational video, you know, YouTube, something like that. I always do that, and I don't. Never eat alive. I, I can't eat alive, so I guess that. Uh, I'm a gospel guy, so I'll say elevation worship. I'll be elevation worship fan. Jaco. All right, so that changes probably like every day. Uh, right now, my favorite song is called 139 by Red Rock Worship, Worship, so it's my song right now. I like I like Bill Gates by Lil Wayne. Right above it by Lil Wayne. Ooh, probably Neon Lights by Kevin Gates. Uh, it changes every year depending on what's out. Uh, but probably, I'll go, I like Cocoon by Migos. I need some music to do it, but give you some music, I'll do it for you. No, I'm not. Not even really familiar with it, honestly. <laughs> Ooh, the funniest guy on the team. Ooh, that, that, that's hard. You got, you got a guy named Charles. Uh, you got Corian. You got Rodney, Kentel, Trey Nation. A lot of guys on the team are really funny. Uh, they all are unique in their own ways, but they all make up for a pretty good comedian group. Funniest guy? It's a tough one. I don't know. They're all. A lot of my friends are really funny, I guess, so offense line itself. To be honest with you, I don't think it's uh, one guy. I think it's either the whole D-line group or uh, Rodney Salisbury. I do play Fortnite. Yes. Woo! I do, but I'm not very good. Yeah. I do play Fortnite a lot of it. The 
Best Fortnite player on the team, I'm getting JL. JL got Fortnite. They're like Jeremiah or maybe Marvin Franklin. That'd be a pretty cool matchup to see them go against each other. Jeremiah, Hoots Ball, definitely. Either, the best I've seen, either J.O., the quarterback, or uh, Casey. On the team? So myself. Myself. I'll say Con Law, too. That's my favorite class. And Dr. North. I love Dr. North. She's a great teacher, great professor. I have a favorite professor, uh, yeah! Professor Robert Perry. I really enjoyed this class. I had him freshman year, and he just really connected with the students. Uh, the governor. I don't know his name, but I'm guessing it's some with Austin P. But the governor, I know that. The governor. Uh, <laughs> I, I could tell you, man. Uh, I think the governor of Austin P. Back in the back in the day. I looked up to a lot of guys. Uh, for me, it was just the love of the game and being able to compete and play. But as I got older, I looked up to guys. Uh, that Prescott is a great uh, mentor of mine. I look up to him a lot. Uh, I look up to Cam Newton a lot. Um, Lamar Jackson recently, uh, just the way he plays the game is really inspiring. But uh, I, I usually follow a lot of different guys and just see how I can pick different pieces and parts uh, off of their game and make my game better. Honestly, Brett Favre, my favorite player, honestly. That's who I looked up to, even though I play offensive line. He's just a player I really enjoyed watching on TV. Both. Because it's half full and it's both half empty. So at the same time, the both answers are correct. Half full because you gotta just live life to the fullest and be very positive with everything you do because there's no point to be negative about everything, it just makes life no fun. Uh, half full because of um, you can't really focus on what you don't have in life, you gotta focus on what you do have and be thankful for that. And at least a lot of people don't have a lot of things that you might have, you just gotta be thankful for everything that you have. Thank God every day for it. Always half full, always gotta look at it no matter what. It's life. Uh, really, I think the uh, focus on ourselves more than anything, and um, of course, have respect for our opponents. But I think we would be our biggest uh, opponent, not letting ourselves get in the way of our success. Uh, it feels great, and um, I'm uh, I'm really happy that we are uh, nationally ranked as high as I think I'm pretty sure as high as that we've been in uh, in school history, and we're just shooting for higher. I think it'll be a great experience. This is something I can tell my grandkids about, my uh, my kids one day. I think it's going to be a, a cool experience. We're going to uh, going to compete with uh, Georgia, which, which I'm really excited about. I think more so, I think every game stands out. I think every game is important. I'm not going to single out more. I'm not going to single out one team more than the other. I think every game is important and should be equally important. Just, uh, just uh, being undefeated to see. That's our goal. Um, I appreciate the recognition, but I just, you know, got to stay hungry. Can never be uh, too complacent. Got to keep getting better as a player. There's a lot of things I got to work on from last year, and just uh, keep getting better and improving on the that. So. I'm Will Healy, the head football coach at Austin P. Well, it means I hired right, and, and I've felt that way since day one. So. Fortunate to be around the guys I'm around, uh, which brought in the players that are in this program right now. Uh, I think it's amazing and it's awesome that people are talking about Austin P in the preseason. You know, not about breaking a, a losing streak, but about having a legit shot to win the OVC in the national championship. So that's the way we hope it is here for a long time. Uh, we got to learn how to play with expectations. We got to learn how to prepare like we want to win a championship. And uh, but this is a good spot to be in the preseason, even though we'd much rather be ranked here in the in the postseason. I think he's in a really good battle right now. Uh, I think Javon Craig's had a great camp, and 
and uh, I think that uh, obviously he's, Jeremiah's got some intangibles that are very difficult to teach and uh, they're, they're very natural to him. He's extremely competitive. Um, he's got uh, ways of making others around him better and he seems to make big plays in really big situations. So um, proud of him, where he's come, and, and I think we're very fortunate to have two on the roster that we feel like can help us win championships. Well, I hope we're not okay with being picked second in the league. We finished second in the league a year ago and we're at home for Thanksgiving. So if second in the league is our goal, we got we got issues. Uh, you know, I, do I think it's a disadvantage for the team? No, other than I, I hope that we're picked first in the league. I hope we're fit, sitting at the top of the league by the time the year's over with. So, uh, I mean, again, everybody around here asks about it, dealing with expectations. I, I hope our expectations are a lot higher than 20, 24th in the country and second in the league. Uh, and I think our guys have prepared like that in the off season, and uh, we're getting to that point in camp where we're playing and, and practicing like we need to to have a shot to live up and, and surpass those expectations. Well, I think so much of what we're doing right now is about us, and that's the, that's the great part is you feel like you're talented enough where if you control what you should control inside our building, then you'll have a shot to compete and do some really special things. So we've still got some some of us that we need to get on board and we need to make sure are paddling in the right direction. And, uh, you know, we've started some Georgia prep stuff. We've started to learn how to practice with, you know, service and scout periods. And uh, so every day is kind of a new experience. Now we'll get into the, uh, to the school start next Monday and understand what our practice times and lift times will look like as we're going through school. And, so add another dynamic, but uh, we're we're really excited for for next uh, for a week from Saturday, and uh, you know a great stage, a great opponent, and and uh, we need to be ready. Jason is a, is a self-made player. Uh, you know he's a guy that we recruited for a while at Chattanooga, and and then we're fortunate enough to be able to get to come here. So. He works extremely hard, he's a great leader, he's extremely productive, uh, he's smart, he's instinctive, um, and you know, if everybody had the motor he had, then, then we'd be the top defense in the country. So, uh, fortunate to be around him, he's even a better human being, and uh, he's, he's a really good example of what we want in this program. You know, I, that's a tough question for me. I, obviously, we've got to be great at quarterback. I think that's where a lot of it starts. We've got to make really good decisions with the football. Uh, and then, you know, we, we've got to continue to make strides defensively. Uh, we've got great personnel. we got to have great chemistry. We have to have great work, great work ethic. We have to have great consistency. Uh, and if we can do that, then, then I think the sky's the limit for this team. Absolutely. Our goal and our expectation is to be in the FCS playoffs. So if we don't do it, there will be some frustration and, and uh, we will be disappointed for sure. You know, I, I think it's just a standard more than anything, you know, to no matter what the situation is, no matter what the outcome becomes, it's just we're going to we're going to do the best of our ability every single snap, every single class, every single meeting, um, and and nobody is going to dictate otherwise. So um, I, I think that's just the standard that we've created. That's the standard that these kids have lived up to, and uh, that's what they're held accountable to do every single day. You got a bunch of video bombers in here. No.